Hello, and thank you for taking your time to learn about this sidewalk improvement project on State Road A1A. This project is located along the west side of State Road A1A in Brevard County within the city of Indian Harbor Beach. The project begins where the existing sidewalk ends north of State Road 518 and continues north for approximately 1.058 miles to Volunteer Way. This project is located within a high tourism area with beaches, condominiums, and resort properties located on the east side of State Road A1A. The west side of the road is densely populated with local businesses and residences. There are many pedestrians that use this corridor to travel to businesses and recreation areas. The intent of this project is to improve pedestrian safety by constructing a new 5-foot to 6-foot wide sidewalk along the west side of the road. A sidewalk currently exists on the east side of the road. The project will also reconstruct all curb ramps to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards and includes modifications to the roadside ditches and inlets. Taking a drive along the corridor to view the improvements proposed for this project, sidewalk is proposed along the west side of State Road A1A beginning north of State Road 518 where the existing sidewalk ends. Curb ramps will be constructed to meet current ADA standards at Atlantic Boulevard. In order to construct the new sidewalks and associated improvements to roadside ditches and inlets, minor right-of-way acquisition will be needed from the vacant parcel located between the Shell gas station and Indian Harbor Professional Plaza. Continuing to the north, the new sidewalk is proposed to be constructed along the west side of the road. Sidewalk currently exists from Palm Springs Boulevard to the driveway entrance to Sherman Williams and South Beach Fitness. Minor right-of-way acquisition will be required from Indian Harbor Professional Plaza, Channa Newport Realtor, Fresh Scratch Bistro and Lounge, as well as the parcel just south of the Fresh Scratch Bistro. There are no impacts to parking at any of these properties. The new sidewalk is proposed to be constructed along the west side of the road throughout this segment with the exception of where the sidewalk currently exists just north of Pine Tree Road. Minor right-of-way acquisition will be needed in the grassy area located between State Road A1A and the Martesia Community Wall to relocate the drainage ditch and maintain a more level sidewalk. As we continue north, the new sidewalk is proposed to be constructed along the west side of the road until it reaches the existing sidewalk at Volunteer Way. This is the northern end of the project limits. Curb ramps will be constructed to meet current ADA standards at the entrance of the Martesia community. Minor right-of-way acquisition will be required in the grassy area located between State Road A1A and the Martesia community wall to relocate the drainage ditch and maintain a more level sidewalk. As mentioned above, this project will require minor right-of-way acquisition. There are no relocations associated with this project. All right-of-way acquisition will be conducted in accordance with the Federal Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Policies Act of 1970, commonly known as the Uniform Act. A right-of-way specialist from FDOT can speak with you to answer any questions you have about the program. This project is currently in the design phase and the current schedule identifies that the design plans will be completed in late 2020. Right-of-way acquisition will begin in early 2021 and be completed in late 2022. Construction is currently not funded. The cost for construction is estimated at $1 million. 
There are several ways that you can get involved and provide feedback on this project. You can submit written comments by mail to FDOT Project Manager Anthony Miller, P.E., at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 2-542, Deland, Florida, 32720, or by email to anthony.miller at dot.state.fl.us. We encourage you to continue to visit this website for updates regarding the status of this project. This website is maintained by FDOT to keep the public informed of ongoing and future projects. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, or FDOT Statewide Title VI Coordinator, Jacqueline Paramore. For additional information, please contact FDOT Project Manager Anthony Miller or the Consultant Project Manager, Mark Bertensini, at the information provided. Thank you for watching this presentation regarding the State Road A1A Sidewalk Construction Project.